shutter as the Corvette is in. Yes, and we take a close look to see if he may have the same related tire issues to what we saw with the team car. We'll wait for them to take off the left rear, and that one looks A-OK. -okay. So, in fact, it may well have been a tire pressure issue with the team car, or they can and they make a rear adjustment here. They can make changes during a pit stop to be able to change the setup of this car and be able to bring the balance back in play. But, again, this tire on this car seems fine, and it's not uncommon that the team cars go with different tire strategies and different tire pressure. So for the three, they're looking good. Saw the adjustment there in the back of the car, and the Ford did the same thing on the pit stop. So interesting to, to figure out what Corvette is doing, whether it's the racetrack is changing or they'd already planned this pre-race that they're going to start the first stint and then try to make an adjustment, but both cars did the same thing. By the way, there's a lot of farewells here today. It's goodbye to this, the Corvette C7R that has been around since 2014, and Corvette Racing has had so much success with it. And it's farewell because the new C8R, the mid-engine Corvette, is coming on board next year. And here it is uh, earlier doing some demonstration laps. There has been a lot of attention and a big buzz about this car. This car looks mean, Townsend. Well, especially when you the look of it. Especially when you go limo tent on the windshield there. Uh, talk <laughs> about trying to keep things confidential for your competitors until it makes its debut. That's pretty cool. It must be hard to see, though, out of that thing. But it looks pretty sinister, no doubt. And I guess they're going to reverse the colors on the three machine for next year. So this is actually the livery that the four car will run. Looks beautiful. It's been down in the uh, Michelin Tower here this weekend. And expect an announcement, a formal announcement from Corvette Racing in the coming days because the driver lineup, we're led to believe, will not remain the same across the two cars for next season. There'll be more news on that coming soon. And that's a big change for any grid, but for Corvette Racing, they keep their guys around for a long time, so it doesn't happen very often, Townsend. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a special role to fill. Being a Corvette driver, we've seen those faces for most of them over a decade with Magnuson and Oliver Gavin and all of those guys. Jan, what do you know about the Corvette? Well, when you talked about that change you saw at the back of the three, that was the anti-roll bar change. They actually have a couple of different adjustments they can do at the back. They can change the shock absorbers or they can change the sway bar or what we call the anti-roll bar. So you can see a significant change to tighten. Well, we don't know if it was tight enough or loose enough. They're not going to tell you, but it was a rear anti-roll bar change for the three. Kelly.